contracts are a secure way to communicate your general terms and conditions and obtain an electronic signature from your client. A contract can be customized for each client you work with using smart fields and is always easy to find on the left-hand sidebar inside of a project. Each project can only have one primary contract, but if you need to gather additional signatures for other documents, you can use subagreements under the Forms tab. You can have as many subagreements as you want in one project. When you're building a contract template, the most common elements that you will likely be using are text boxes for your terms and conditions clauses, image elements for styling and branding purposes, but most importantly, initials and signature elements. What makes contracts and subagreements different from other form templates in Dubsado is that you can add signature area elements and initials elements. These elements can be signed electronically after you've shared the form with a client. As the business owner, you can also countersign a contract or subagreement electronically. If you want to countersign your contracts, your template should have two signature area elements, one for the client and one for you as the business owner. You can also specify which signature area is reserved for you inside the window to the left. Now, we want to make sending contracts to your clients as seamless as possible, so there's no need to create a new contract for every client in your template section. If you'd like to have client and project-specific information autofill into your contract, you can add smart fields inside your text boxes by editing the text box and selecting from the smart field menu. A smart field in Dubsado is basically a string of code that acts like a placeholder. Once a template is applied to a project, Dubsado will automatically replace that smart field code with the available client or project information. Invoice smart fields are the most common here since they allow you to include the payment plan or total invoice price in the language of the document. This information will be pulled directly from the invoice in the project. So if you're using these smart fields, be sure you have an invoice created in the project first before sending this contract to the client, or else the smart fields will show up blank since there is no invoice to pull information from. As you work on your templates, be sure to click Save often in the upper right-hand corner. Currently, form templates will not auto-save as you go. Now, if you're just wanting to send a contract out by itself, click on the drop-down menu in the contract area of your project. Then choose the base template you want to use. Once you've done that, a preview of the contract will show up in this window. When you click Add at the top here, it actually makes a copy of your base contract template and puts it in this project. So now, if you need to edit this contract beyond what the smart fields can autofill, you can do that here without affecting your base template in the form section. When you're ready to send the contract, click send and the email composer window will pop up. You'll see a button in the email that links to the contract here. Feel free to customize this email before you send it and after you're finished, click send. And here's a few bonus tips for you. If you're wanting to use the same contract template that you see in this video as a starting point, you can copy this contract into your account by clicking on the link in the description. The second tip is to use a separate text box element for each clause in your contract, especially if you're wanting the client to initial after each clause. And it also makes editing text way easier down the road. And lastly, right now Dubsado does not support multiple client signatures on a contract or subagreement. If there's more than one person who needs to sign your main contract, we recommend using subagreements to capture the additional signatures.